Hi, Scissorin here with a build guide for the upcoming Scourge expansion 3.16 of Path of Exile. And this is a build collab with Psy TV, and it is going to be a Poison Saboteur. It's going to be one of the strongest builds this league and something that should be really good at handling all the new Uber content and just incredibly strong. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to this one. So let's talk a little bit about how to play the build and level it and stuff like that. So play style wise and playing the build early on it's stormless mine and orb storm super super simple as you can see in the background right very good for taking down roas and everything like that at level 12 uh it's going to be changing with a lightning trap and that should be fine to just spam lightning trap for everything and you can use bear trap if you need more of a single target level 28 to 38 it changes quite a lot and there's a lot of notes in the build here but you're basically doing seismic trap lightning trap flame tower trap uh, and linking that to whatever you can. Again, loads of details in the um, notes. And this is just to like get an onslaught of single target. And once you hit level 38, you're using exsanguinate traps for clearing. And seismic traps should be enough to handle all your single target needs. But again, you can keep using all those cooldown traps. And then later on, you'll be swapping. And the end game is just using seismic trap and exsanguinate. And it's an incredibly strong build. Again, should be able to do all the end game content. It just looks very juicy. As per normal, we have our step-by-step -step leveling tree where it starts off 22 points, goes to 48, etc. Just so you have a good idea of where to put your point next. We we don't just like give you the late game tree and see, here you go, figure out where to put them. Um, and mastery is like everything is included and you'll be swapping to poison around cruel lab. You can start doing that. That aside, there's loads of info here on the skills as well. It tells you what to do at what point. It should be very clear from the socket groups what to use and when and Sai has made loads of notes that if you are struggling on something you can look this up and uh, you have loads of extra information here so how to get poison chance possible annoyance loads of really really good information here if we move to gear there's early game mid game and late game gear and as you can see all the early game stuff is very very cheap very easy to get basically just life and resist on the most of the gear um, and then some more alternatives for mid game and late game items. So you have things to aspire to. Now we don't have a set limit of, um, you know, when you should have these things. It's just like, you know, it, it, when, when looking them up on trading or whatever, or trying to craft them, they'll be increasingly expensive, whether they're mid game or late game, right? So, you know, ideally, if you can afford it, go for the late game stuff. That's obviously going to be better. I did have a question very recently about the specific basis. For this build and obviously it is great with evasion bases but it's not like only slink boots work right the the most important thing in this build isn't bases although you do want a pretty high amount of evasion if you can get that but it is not the end of the world and because we have ghost dance getting energy shield isn't bad as well so for the pantheon solaris and Rallykesh is a pretty great choices so you could also play around with brian king for chill immune since we only have arctic armor we don't get chill immune we just get freeze uh, you can also get that on a ring craft Bandit is skill point is the most ideal, but remember at a league start, especially if you're on hardcore, there's nothing wrong with taking a Lyra early and then selling 20 regrets and an Onyx Amulet to the vendor to switch to skill points later on. So POB numbers and stuff for Seismic Trap might look a little bit low. It doesn't exactly calculate perfectly. Uh, it actually calculates at a lot less, but we can show a quick clip of Psy TV with a lot worse gear than the endgame stuff here in the gauntlet. And he kills the Uber Ziri walls way before he was intending to and ends up dying to it. So this is obviously a build that has an insane amount of damage. Even though you can see in Path of the Building, it's la labeling it as 330,000. It's obviously closer to like 8 million or something. It's an insane amount of burst. Another thing that's really nice about this build is that we get over, uh, we get 100% spell suppression. So every time you do get hit by spells, you only take half off the damage. So really, really nice. We're rocking 7,200 life pretty decent amount of regen and uh, you have a little bit of energy shield as well um if you are able to get a bit more that's going to be nice because we are using ghost shrouds so they, they're really really good as well just additional defense really really good sustain and should be an absolute dream to play this is a very very heavy contender for myself and what i'm trying to choose as a league starter it's currently it's between this and a champion toxic rain uh, which Darkie is going to make a guide for. So really, really, really strong build. 
are there too many gems to it? But no, you actually have like a spare four socket or a spare four link uh, at the end because obviously we don't use Vigilant Strike on the build anymore. It's Fortify nerf. Um, so very easy gem wise. As for mana issues, uh, at the late game, you're using Life Tap in your main link. However, early game, struggling a bit on mana and you're going to have to roll your mana flask. For useful level uniques, obviously the normal things and uh, plus gem level ones, etc. But Deer Stalker, which I also mentioned in the notes, are really, really strong. So for quality of life, especially while mapping and stuff, we are actually getting life on kill while mapping. And some of you might be thinking, but we're using traps. How are we getting life on kill? Are we using the new gloves? Well, when you kill something with a damage over time and poison, you uh, you are attributed to the kill. So we're actually able to get Onslaught from Death Rush if you want. You're able to get on kill effects. Uh, so it's really, really good for that. Uh, so you have very high sustain. And Trickster has pretty decent regen as well. For sustain, yeah, just really, really good regen. And you have the spell suppression, so you're not taking that much damage to begin with. One of the bigger drawbacks on this build would be that your Fizz Mediation might be a little harder yeah, you are going to have to get like things like physical damage taken as elemental, etc. on your chest, for example. So for auras, we're using Skitterbots. That's giving us more damage. It's shocking the enemies. It's chilling our enemies. So you could also use Hypothermia with anything with Skitterbots, which is cool. Arctic Armor as well is less physical damage taken while stationary, which is great and gives us Freeze Immune. Sadly, not Chill Immune. So you do need to get that somewhere else if you don't want to be affected by it. Grace, obviously large amount of evasion. We are a dodge build and really want a lot of it. And then Herald of Agony for more poison chance and a little bit of damage. And there is an old quality Herald of Agony mentioned in the notes that will be even better. As far as financial hurdles for this build, everything should be very cheap. Obviously, if it ends up becoming a very popular build and getting good expensive gear or good endgame gear might go up in price. But it should be a very, very doable build for solo self on. Like everything is craftable yourself and is a very good SSF hardcore pick. So really strong build again thank you so much to side tv for making this guide and really looking forward to seeing it in action like i said high contender for one of the builds i want to pick and play this league i haven't played trapper in a while and they're so strong so good luck in 3.16 scourge league let me know if you're planning on playing this build in the comments down below thank you guys so much for all the support again thank you guys so much for all the support sub if you like the video but more importantly try to die less than i do